Coverage continues now. The homegoing service for former Congresswoman Carrie Meek followed a motorcade procession that included stops of significance, like at the Carrie P. Meek Entrepreneurial Education Center at Miami Dade College and the Carrie P. Meek Westview K 8 Center. CBS 4's Ashley Dyer talked to family friends who are sad to see her go. But still, they're happy to celebrate her accomplishments. Ashley is live in Northwest Miami Dade. Ashley? Elliot and Lauren, good evening to you. A trailblazer, a trendsetter, an icon. These are just some of the words that were used to describe Carrie Meek. Today, her procession stopped right here at the K through 8 center that was named after the late Congresswoman. They were greeted by dozens of students. The youngest generation taking a moment today to learn about the trailblazers ahead of them. She uh, brought down barriers to make everyone uh, better human beings. The vision behind the school is to set expectations and help children achieve success. This morning, students holding signs paid their respects to Meek, chanting her name. She was a mild lady, but she was strong. She was a, a trendsetter. She was also the type of person that if you was to sit down and, and talk with her, she'll give you that, that motherly advice. But at the same time, she makes sure that you stay on the right track. The procession also made a stop at Miami Dade College, where Carrie Meek was the first black professor, associate dean, and assistant to the vice president. A woman who worked with Meek remembers how kind she was. She would always smile at me and talk with me. Carrie Meek was a woman of many firsts and the list doesn't stop here. She was also the first African-American woman in the state Senate and one of the first black Floridians elected to Congress since the Reconstruction era. And I have known this family for over 40 years and um, she's impacted us in a way that was just unforgettable. Among the humor, there was always a message that she was leaving. Anthony Brunson says giving back to the community and always pushing to be a better person are two things she instilled in him. Those are the messages I live by, having taken them away from her. After a life of service, Carrie Meek passed away on Sunday. She was 95 years old. Meek will be buried at a memorial site in Opalaka. We're live in Northwest Miami-Dade County tonight. Ashley Dyer, CBS4 News. Ashley, thank you very much. At, at the very heart of uh, Carrie Meek was just a person who, who believed in public service, believed that she could make a difference for mm -hmm. the people that she represented and she did it at a time when she was the first the first african-american woman the you know the, a trail a true trailblazer yeah that's what they called her so many times today one of the things that struck me jim mentioned it earlier she hadn't served in congress in about 18 years or so so it's been a long time yet today the business of the house of representatives was put on hold no votes until six o'clock because so many of her former co-workers rather colleagues were here to honor her life even all these years after she actually served they still wanted to be here for her and her family today. Yeah, she, Truly touching to see. She lived a full and complete life. Rest in peace.